Hey breadwinners, welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Jenny Hanson Lane. I am a digital marketer, course creator, mom to three boys. I love coaching people through all the things. I have dedicated this season of my YouTube channel to document KDP from start to beginning. I started January 1. I got my first sale on January 21st. I found a validated niche at the end of January towards the beginning of February. I published a book February 4th. I turned on ads around February 11th and I was able to scale to 20 grand in the 10 months that I've been doing this. So I share all the things that I've learned and especially my failures and mistakes because I believe that life is not linear. It is up and down. So in this video, I'm sharing the three biggest mistakes to avoid with your Amazon KDP pen names. Numero uno. Can you guys think of what this might be? Not researching what is out there already. So if your name is John Smith, bless your heart, there's 8 million of you. And if you go into Amazon and you search your name, that is the number one thing you should do when you're thinking of pen names because... As you saw in my previous videos about pen names and why they matter, I'm not the only Jenny Lane. I'm not the only Jenny Hansen, but I am the only Jenny Hansen Lane right now. Well, at least I stole all, stole. I secured, I invested in all the domain names and social media at Jenny Hansen Lane. That is me, right? So when I started out, I really wanted to know what was out there. And this is a really important part for you because you're gonna get ideas about pen names, but you're gonna see things you don't wanna do. And that's a really important thing. So make sure that you're researching what is out there already. Search your name, search topics you like, see what people are actually using as their pen name. If you do not do that, it is a big mistake because you will put your name on your books and then people can find your books. If you have a best-selling book, they can easily do that. If you're okay with that, that's not a big deal. As you guys know, I'm writing the book about authenticity and it's going to be under Jenny Hanson Lane and I teach gamification and those are not secrets. So I really don't mind because I believe in abundance and I believe that what I put out there can still have my own twist on it because I put myself in my books. Okay. But if you're not interested in building a personal brand, do not use your personal name for your pen name. That's, that's all I have to say about that. Okay. Numero dos, number two, pen name mistake number two, not understanding your target market. Okay. So I, I share this story a lot, but it, it is surprising to me. And that's why I keep bringing it up. I reviewed someone's books and they had a very masculine name for their pen name and they were publishing children's books. And there was just, there's some cross communication that's not happening in that way. When you know your target market and your actual key niche uh, categories, it's going to allow you to position a pen name and create a pen name that is a little bit more powerful than John Smith, which if you're John Smith, I love you. It's not, it's nothing. It's not you. It's me. It's my desire to create pen name strategies that exist long after you. I talk about wanting to create general generational income assets. That's a book that keeps selling. I did read the terms and conditions for KDP. And if I die, there is a way for my kids to take over my account or my spouse and make royalties. Okay. So they have that set up for big name authors too. So what is the legacy you want to leave behind, you know, and, and how does it honor the target market that you want to serve? Right. So pen name mistake, numero trace number three, is not understanding your target customer. This goes back to naming your pen names in a way that is going to attract your buyer. What if you knew, what if you knew there was a difference between attracting your buyer and repelling your buyer? There is, there is. And we certainly are diving into that in our pen name profits masterclass. But to talk very clearly about this third mistake is you will end up doing things that confuse your customer just by your pen name. Not even establishing your your author central is also a mistake. And that could be a separate video because there are many things. So if you need an author central video, just 
comment author central and we'll get that going okay so some takeaways from these three mistakes is you know why pen names matter and this is a really important thing because my audience you beautiful people live all over the world that means you might speak different languages you have different cultures i have different cultures from you right and the most important thing about this is if you are going to you know pen name mistake number two was not understanding the market so what market are you going after are you going after the united states market or australia or france or japan because your pen name's gonna matter for that too and this is the great thing is that once you have a book that go does really well in the united states you can translate that to another language and republish it and because you own the copyright you can republish it under a different pen name to i just had the conversation on this YouTube channel from some lovely woman that said she made the mistake of putting a pen name under something else, but she owns the copyright to the interior so she can repurpose that and make it matter more. And that's the really, really cool thing about KDP is you can create more than one asset from a book. And we'll talk about that in our repurposing masterclass as well. But if you are targeting USA, there is a lane and you don't and you're not from the united states there is a little bit of crossover especially if you speak a different language so you need to understand the language barriers and the cultures to creating something that the customer understands the customer journey and i'm not i'm not trying to discourage you from publishing in the u.s market i'm telling you that the u.s market is the biggest and I only have experience in digital marketing course creation in the United States. And so this is where my background comes from, right? And understanding the success that I've come from, I've been able to sell books in different countries. I've been translating my books into different languages, but it is a very, very small percent. I am still very focused on the US market because that seems like where my target market and target customer are. And that makes a huge difference. So I want you to think about that. I want you to think about, you know, the purpose of using your name, the, the purpose of helping your customer understand your name. And I always talk about in every video that it's important for you to put yourself in your business. And so if you want to use part of your name and you have a beautiful name, that's not English, I think that's even better. I think you have a great opportunity to have a pen name that shares about yourself and you can still use part of your identity that American buyers will love that the U S market will love. So there is no right or wrong way. I'm just sharing the mistakes that I have seen that lead to less sales. That's all I'm doing, right? I'm not, um, a doctor. <laughs> I'm just giving you the elixir that I have used. Okay. And it does make a difference when you can do that. And so that's exactly why on December 1st that I'm launching the Pending Profits course. It's self-paced, so you can go at the pace that you would like. If you watched any of the videos previously, yesterday I showed how to combine words to make really fun pen names. And there were so many ideas that I was like, I can't wait to create another pen name. So for pen name profits, we're going to review the art and science of pen names the psychology behind it, the vocabulary for buyer trust. So people feel like, oh, this is not only are they like they notice it, but they're like, what is this shop? This is adorable. I love this. Right. That's what we want to do is get people's attention, how to position your pen name, how to essentially grow your community that way. And I will unwrap and show you my pen name profit strategy that's generated over 20 K of my 22 K my 22 K profits. I need to start new niches and I need to research more because I want to scale my account now that I've gone this deep. And the only way that I will do that is with pen name profits. I will use this strategy to figure out the validating niches from my niche slap courses and repurposing the content to create beautiful little shops that people are so excited to buy from. So I, again, want to invite you to this course on December 1st. If you have your phone, you're watching this on a computer, you can open your phone camera and this link will come up. If you have been in a course before of mine, if you've bought any pre-sale of the early bird stuff, then there is coupon codes for you for this class. And they're in the question portal of the programs that you've bought. You can also message me on Instagram too. 
if you need that code. But this is a really powerful way to get empowered about your business. When you have a pen name that you love and it's like a little shop for you, it gets really, really fun. So I hope you guys have an amazing day. Love you lots. Peace out.